Hello, my dear and lovelies, Mr. G here. Last week we learned about igneous rock. Let's review. Igneous rock is rock that is formed when hot molten rock, called magma or lava, cools, hardens, and becomes solid. Magma is hot molten rock found deep inside the earth. And lava is hot molten rock which has exited the earth and is now on the surface. Any igneous rock that forms from lava is called an extrusive rock. And any rock that forms from cooling magma inside the earth is called an intrusive rock. Magma inside the earth takes a long time to cool. Therefore, intrusive rocks have large mineral grains because those minerals have a long time to find each other, to collect themselves, and to grow into large mineral grains. On the other hand, extrusive rocks form on the surface. Lava cools very quickly once it's out in the open and the mineral grains in extrusive rock are much smaller. Beyond being intrusive or extrusive, igneous rock are classified into three different types. Basaltic, andesitic, and granitic. Basaltic rocks contain large amounts of iron and magnesium. This gives them a dark, rich color, and it also makes them very dense and very hard. Andesitic rock have iron and magnesium too, but in smaller amounts than basaltic rock. They also contain an element called silicone. This makes andesitic rock less dense and softer than basaltic rock, and it also makes them lighter in color. Finally, granitic rock. Granitic rocks have high amounts of silicon and very low quantities of iron and magnesium. This makes them the least dense, the softest, of the igneous rocks. They're also the lightest in color and have a lot of variation in color. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.